So I'm on a second dog's walk in the woods. I was debating on whether to or not, but I think, yeah, it's nice somewhere, nice somewhere to go anyway. It's noisy still because of the roadworks down there. So there is one half of the roadworks on the closer side to the Salt Temple roundabout, and now because they're doing that one. Uh, so this means none of the bus stops along this road, like along the road I'm walking past, are not in use. So if you want to get a bus from West Vale to, and then the traffic, because the traffic's really bad, you've got to wait in West Vale. <laughs> Which is, uh, yeah, that's, you got, well, you wait in West Vale anyway, but it's like you could normally wait at one of them bus stops. Dogs, you're going the wrong way! And then they're off like a bat out of hell. So if you wanted to get one of the one of the first bus stops, that's not in use. And the other one ne further on is not in use. Because I learned that the hard way, because I was nearly late again to work. I can't do this man. I can't be doing with getting to work very, very luckily. I can't do it. It's not gonna it's not it's gonna happen where I'm gonna be late. Don't want to be, but it's going to happen. <sighs> At least with being on here, I'm away from the main road and it's quiet, it's nice, there's room to walk. I've not actually seen anyone in here yet. Hopefully it stays that way. And uh, there's plenty of room for the dogs as well. <sighs> yeah. Like I, I'm only going to aim to be out for like an hour or so. Uh, so get, like, get back for like half two-ish. And then I can have a bath and chill for a bit. And they're coming. <sighs> what was I saying about, I, wish, I, I don't think there's anyone there. Someone up there. <laughs> <clears throat> so I'm 5'11". That's the train going to Halifax. Yeah, <laughs> going that way. Uh, so I'm the 511, and the person that's on the 2 till half 9 uh, wouldn't normally do a 2 till half 9. Right, this is my thing. Uh, I'm curious to know if they'll shift swap. Well, no, no, no. Well, they're, uh, what? No, no, they're not going to shift swap by the sense like. They'll say like coming at two, etc. But I think like what might happen is that possibly when I get it get in at five, they'll like be like, "All oh, right, Jamie, yeah, yeah, you're normally deep downstairs, but it might be the case that I might be upstairs because when it comes to doing upstairs and they want someone favourable of doing a good job upstairs, I think my name." is more in favour of the person that's doing it. I mean, no doubt the person that's on the shift at the moment, or will be on the shift at the moment, will be the shift on the shift in like about an hour or so, will do a good job anyway. But, I don't know, I just kind of have that feeling, you know, when you're 511, that you might not be doing the 511, and then you might actually be elsewhere oh, also as well like the crudo is on the 9th of December at Galactic Golf so uh, that'll be interesting I'm looking down because I really don't want to be falling because it's muddy and uh, yeah I really want to be watching where I'm going it always looks like an illusion does this bit because you just kind of don't know where to go really it just all looks the same but like when you get to a point where you're like here you can like predetermine where the path is and then you're like oh right I actually know where I am because if you look if you're ever stuck on like where you are on like where's the path look where it's darkest because that's where it's most likely been walked on because if you've got like a, 
a green field and then because if, if there's certain areas where people would be walking on it it's been stamped on so it'll be a different colour so then you know like oh right yeah no either that's the best place you can go or you can like walk a different way depending if it's alright I mean I need to put my phone away just look at that I need to put my phone away it's getting a bit windy now <laughs> no it's just it's just because I've had my hood up and I just took it off and it just went boy. Uh so I did 1.8 miles of walking this morning and three and a half miles of biking and then I looked at how much I would have to do for a 10k and I have to do 4.4 miles of walking and I've done 2.2 at the moment uh, that's getting to Copley so I'm actually going to be walking back along the canal to Salter Hebel walk back along the canal not doing that uh, walk back along Salter Hebel way where the roadworks are and then like make my way back home <coughs> well because I don't want to proper proper knack myself out before work and you know the thing is if I don't even do 4.4 miles on this walk then I'm sure I'm going to be able to do it on my commute to work like whether it be the short ass walk from home to the bus stop in West Vale and then a little bit of a walk in Halifax before I start. Uh, yeah, and because Saturday, this Saturday, is the 1st of December, it means if you want to wear a Christmas t-shirt into work, you can. Uh, and the one I've got is quite gothic, quite gothic, so like those that are into like the metal music and know about that would like it. Uh, well, the thing is, what I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is I'm literally going to take a spare pair of uniform, at the t-shirt that is. I still need to take my hat. Holly, you all right? Fucking hell! I really thought my dog was gonna be sick. Right, Holly, stop eating stuff off the canal. I'm serious. I tell you so many times and you don't listen. Uh, so yeah, I do want to get some more Christmas t-shirts because I've only got the one black one. And like, it'd be nice to get more because I don't know how re of a reaction that I would get from the one I've got already. <laughs> if I get told to take it off, then I, at least I've got a spare pair of a spare t-shirt like my, my work t-shirt anyway and then that's it you never know they might even like it possibly they might like it for the next five or three and seven minutes it won't be in seven minutes though realistically because of the traffic but uh, I'm at this bus stop here because uh, well it's absolutely blasting it down and to the all the bus stops along Sorta Hebel are in out and not in action because of the uh, roadworks. So it's just this one. Right, so seven minutes will take me to what time? I think it's like twenty past. So that'll take me to four twenty-three. Four twenty-three. <sighs> Well, I'm on a walk this morning. I've not even had breakfast yet. But I was saying to myself, like, because I'm doing a two till half nine today, I thought I need to get two, at least two walks in. So what I'm going to do is, like, as I'm doing now, I'm going to have breakfast. No, no, no. <sighs> I'm going to have breakfast later on. So I'm going to take the dogs out for like 35 to 30 to 45 minutes. I'll have breakfast. Uh, and then at about half eleven to like twelve-ish, take them out for like half an hour, and then 
can have some dinner then. And then I can set off at one to go to work. You've got to love that guy. It just... <laughs> I'm walking past and I'm like, yeah, yeah. I knew it would be anyway. And... Uh, so, like, literally as I was walking past, like, literally, I wasn't even walking past yet. His dog was already going at it. And the test was like, what? <laughs> uh, so it's nice to go this, and my plan actually is to go down this way, down Dalen Road, then, like, go back up the viaduct way, back up. Holly, where are you going? Holly! We're not going on the field. Where are you going? Goodness me. My dog is really good at getting lost. This is why I'm worried about letting them off the lead. Because they just don't know where they're going. I don't want to walk too far though because I've not had any breakfast. Mind you, none of the dogs are fair. Actually, the dogs had a DS, so actually they have had something to eat. I haven't. <sighs> uh, I was debating on whether to go for a bike ride, but do you know, no, I don't want to do that. Like if I've got, I'm a bit pushed for time, really. Like I have been out for the last two days. It's, they've not been long, but I have been able to go out on the bike. So tomorrow I'm not actually working at all. So, I can literally take the dogs out in the morning and then I can go out on my bike for a bit and then I can then take the dogs out again and then I can get home thinking, oh right, yeah, I don't actually have to go to work, I can actually stay in. And then at that point I'm like, I might actually go on the bike then. That, that's my, that might be a good idea. So I'm going to walk along this path and back over the viaduct. The whole time that went across along Stalem Road, I didn't film it because I was really watching for traffic. And people at this time want to be a twat. Trust me, like I'm trying to cross the road, red light, everything, if it's safe to cross, then a speeding yobbo in a Range Rover thought, you know, fuck it. I fancy just being a knob and cut the corner really fast so I had to run back and I just practically sprinted across the road I was like just fuck yeah man because someone said yesterday like out of the th out of the whole crossing points there's th out of the whole cr uh, four way there's four cross there's three crossing points but the one where I was crossing doesn't have a crossing point why is that why doesn't that one have a crossing point must the council want people to cross it and risk getting knocked over? Must do. Okay, so I'm on my way to work, doing two to life nine. Um, and then I've got two days off then. I'll have Thursday and Friday off. So yeah, two days off. Uh, so yeah, uh, so I think... I've got a decent staffed s schedule tonight. Um, this is what happens. I'm on 2 slab 9, by 511, it's going to end up at the kitchen. Mind you, actually, I did table service yesterday, so uh, I kind of, I kind of predicting it. Kind of predicting it. Uh, it's very windy. I think it stopped with rain. So it's actually kind of nice because I've done two walks with the dogs. Uh, and I've nearly, nearly done 10,000 steps if, before I go to work. Not going on the bike, because I don't want to do that. It's terrible weather for it. So I'm just going to stop vlogging and put some music on. I don't think it would be too bad today. So the 503 is eight minutes away, so I'm just going to, I was going to go walking around. Uh, here around the bus stop, but it's absolutely blasting it down right now. So, uh, 
Yeah, I'm staying. I'm staying right here. I was gonna go for a bit of a walk, but uh, I did. So I did two or four miles this morning, and I did 1.9 miles. So I've done 4.3 miles already, and then I've already done this walk here, which is half a mile. So I've done 4.8 miles of walking anyway. I, do you know what? Actually, I could put my hood up and just keep walking around and just get some more mileage in. The thing is, I might as well walk around the bus, like around this bus stop, than going that way, because then there's those bus stops that are out of use. So yeah, good thing. Just walk around here. It's not raining now, but I just, you know, I just. Had a little bit of a wonder and come back. Uh, Power 3 Jew. I'm looking this way, so I this so I can see it. <coughs> if and when it does come. It's not here yet. Oh, I can see it actually. Uh, there we go. Um, I don't think it'd be too bad because it's the middle of the week. Middle of the week and I'm doing a close upstairs. Shouldn't be too bad. Right, I'm going to put my phone away because I really want to get this bus. So, why is it so vlogged here? It's quite a while. So anyway, I'm in Halifax anyway, it's like half one, started to, it's, it's dark, like this is excluding the fact, this isn't the sun going down just yet, well it is, but uh, you don't right, notice it, but <coughs> it's dark, it's quite dark in Halifax, <coughs> so I've got a bit of time to do some stuff really, I've got like 10-15 minutes and then head in. Or if it just... Do you know, I'm seeing a lot of alcohol bottles around. <sighs> what? <laughs> okay. Well, uh, that's been an interesting night. I finished upstairs for like half eight. I'd literally got everything done. And they'd not even checked me off either. But I was just cracking on with it and getting on. Uh, my bus is six minutes away. And I was just practically downstairs for like the whole hour. And I just did as much as I can, like literally to help out the person downstairs, because the person downstairs was in the kitchen. Uh, so I, put, I closed off pretty much most of it, and then when they get back on, they can just concentrate on what they want to do. Well that's different, you normally get an orange light, like, where is it, like that one over there, but or red, but that's pink. It's different. It's just flickering. Either get your, like I said, orange or red, but pink. That's a that's different. Surprisingly mesmerized. Surprisingly mesmerized by a light, a street light. What am I like?